All right, we're gonna do the side-by-side -side comparison of the PX9 and the VP9. Right off the back, when I seen these grips, I had thought of the VP9, and when I felt it in my hand, it had a similar feel to it. The difference is, I like how this one got the finger grooves in the front. This one came with threaded barrel, optics ready, fiber optic front sight, 20 round magazine and the 18 round magazine came with the flare, the flat face trigger, threaded barrel. I think that's pretty much it. And some other features, some other extra accessories. So the VP9 came with the 20 round. I believe it came with two 20s. It might have been one, but two 20s and a 17. So they're about the same on a round capacity. It didn't come with the threaded barrel. They do have some that do come with threaded barrel. At the time when I was trying to get this, it was hard to get. So I got a silencer co threaded barrel. In. Some of them do. I think the VP9 Tactical do come with it. It's gonna cost more. I think the regular VP9s is around maybe seven or eight. Forgot what I paid for this. And I think the tactical is like maybe nine or something. I don't know. Prices change. But um, as far as the sights on there, this got the blacked out rear. Just like this. Got the blacked out rear. And fiber optic front. And this one got a, like a night sight in the front. And these sights are XS, XS sights. So I need to swap these out and get their suppressor uh, height sights. So I'll be doing that soon. This gun was under 300. And this one was like under 800. But with the barrel to match it, is the barrel is about 150 extra dollars. So you're looking at about maybe eight or nine hundred dollars for this setup without the optic. Um, I believe this optic can go on here. I just got to check and see what plates they got and how that's set up. But we will be getting the optic for this. But other than that, take the mags out because I believe they're similar in height. Okay, nah. Well, well that's with that on there. So I forgot the mag well thing is on there. Let me see. Do it like that. So without the mag well flare, you can take that off. They're about the same height. About the same height. Let's see about the length. Line them up with the beaver tails. So pretty much about the same with the lining up from the beaver tails. Both of these you can put flashlights on, front and rear serrations. This one got a little better serrations in the front on here. And then I like the HK because they got these bigger tabs. So if you're shooting in the winter with gloves, you got more grip to grab. Um, they both got the cocking indicator in the rear. Both of them got that. I like that. Just an extra for somebody to know if it's something in there. This one is an Ambi mag release and but yeah, other than that, these things is pretty close in size and weight and everything too. So if everything checks out good with this, you know, it's a good deal. Pretty much good deal. For the amount of features and that it comes with for that price. Looking at the uh, grip pattern is what made me want to do a side by side on it. I see your motivation, I see your movement is in the back. And I'm fucking with that shit. Let's get it.